Hello, welcome to Anderson's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. He's the Maltese Falcon. Well, this is... Chris from Casio. Come on, Chris, we're going to fist bump. Hey. We're doing a whole day on these, especially the brand new PXS 7000, right? Yeah, lovely. And one thing that came up is the idea of connectivity. When you buy a keyboard like this, Casio offer various options in terms of connecting to devices and such. Yeah, it's very true. So the whole point about this is when you get your piano home, you set it up and you're like, right, I want to get on, I want to get out and do something. Where do you go? What do you do? Um, so the idea is that using USB connectivity, if you've got a tablet or if you've got a Mac or a PC, there are things that are included in your purchase that will get you started. And we're going to check them out right now. Let's go. High cool. five. <laughs> right, we're in the game. What, what would we start with? Like you said, absolute beginner. Absolute beginner. But what I love is on this channel, especially, is realizing that not everyone knows how to play when they buy a piano, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. Casio have sorted that out with some free lessons. Yes, that's true. So any Casio piano that you buy or keyboard comes with free access to what we call the Casio Music Academy. And what it is, is online, it's web-based, so you can access it with a Mac or a PC. You'll see this on the screen. Or, right? yeah, yeah, pretty much anything. If you can get on the web, you can have a look at these lessons. And the idea is that it, does, it supposes that you know nothing about playing the piano at all. You've never done it, but you want to have a go. Where do you start? So we've got 10 lessons that take you through the very beginning. So introducing the keyboard, what are the, the names of the notes? Yeah. There is also a little bit on how to read music. Videos. Yeah, some videos in there as well. The nice thing that I like about it though, it's a nice mix between, yes, you can read music and we can show you how to read music, but we can also show you how to make chords, you know, understand the basics of music. So by the end of the 10 lessons, you know, we've got things like scales, yeah. triads, um, you know, all the way down to lesson 10, where you're actually gonna perform a song. So you're gonna use all the skills that you've learned in the nine lessons to, to play a song with a backing track. And they're interactive as well. So like you said, with this, there's videos there, to, you can see different topics, but it will also, through the web, there's a, there's a plugin, a, a MIDI plugin. So if you connect this up to, like we've got here, it's actually a plugin. So you can have a go and play what's on the screen. So you play those chords and it will analyze what you play. And it will tell you if you played the right note, if you uh, held the chord up for too long or not long enough, how was your timing? Mm -hmm. So it's really interactive. It's great videos, yes, but also you can see visually how you do it. You're not just left on your own. There's a bit that someone watching over you there. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. And it's got Bluetooth out of the box. I saw there was a Bluetooth dongle in it. Yeah, so it's Bluetooth. For some products like this one, the Bluetooth is Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI. So at the moment, the Bluetooth MIDI works with iPads and Apple Mac. Um, Windows, if it's, you're running a PC system, Windows 10 is a little bit behind the curve, so it, it doesn't do Isn't wirelessly. Isn't it just? <laughs> <laughs> but that's coming, that, so Windows 11 is gonna fix that. But for the time being, if you want Bluetooth MIDI, it's gonna be a Mac, but they're working on that, so they tell us. That's cool, but we, you got your iPad there. IPad, is that hooked yeah. up via Bluetooth now? Uh, it, it isn't, but we could probably do it really, really quickly. It doesn't have to be. What What is it? So what's the difference? How would I use an iPad? Can I use the same software so or is the, it different stuff? The iPad, yeah, you could. You could use the, the Casio Music Academy on the iPad through Safari, not a problem. But with the iPad, uh, you've also got Casio's Music Space app, which basically means that you can do various different things. You can control the settings of your piano through the app. So you can basically change sounds and apply different effects and that kind of thing. But the app's got like different sections. So as well as what we call the remote controller, it's also got a section where you can learn a song. So a lot of the music, because of copyright, a lot of the music in there as standard is classical piano music, which is great. But if you've got a MIDI file of any, any song you wanna learn, it will also load in a MIDI file and it will show you how to play the piece of music in piano roll. So if you've been online oh. and on YouTube and you've seen those tutorials, how to play a piece and the uh, blocks come down the I can't, I can't read music, so this is right, right. on the street. Okay, so if you, if you know that format, the format that Casio used for their music space, it will be really, really familiar. Right, we've got to see it. Can we make it work? Exactly. We'll make it work. Let's, have, let's, let's make this work. Let's do an edit. Let's, let's do, do a finger step. One, two, three. We're back in the room. iPads connected. And that's what I wanted to see. Yes. So now we've put in a MIDI file. 
uh, we've imported it, and as you can see, it looks very, very similar to any piano roll that you've seen on YouTube. Yeah. So what I've done now is I've set it so that when you press the play button, you won't hear anything because it's going to wait for you to play the right keys on the piano. Oh my god. There we go. Come on, let's all see right. if this works. So okay. you hit play, hit play, and then for someone like me that can't read music, I can see and go, all right, there's three yeah. black notes there, F. Yeah. That's going to be an F, and that will be a C. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to play. Go for it. And if I play the wrong note, it doesn't advance. It doesn't advance. That's right. What? And I'll go down to C sharp. Is that a C sharp? Yeah, up to D flat. On up the top. to D flat. And if you got that down, you could be in time and like Guitar Hero yeah. for keyboards. Yeah. Very, very similar That's thing. So good. Very similar thing. And, and you, any old MIDI file. Any, any old MIDI file. And, and that one we've chosen is just piano solo, but if you've got like drums, other instrumental tracks in as well, it will play the tracks as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I could learn all my songs out <laughs> there. Right that works really well. And even a little, oh, so I'm going to go to that. This is why people are like, why don't you learn songs for videos, Jack? Because it would take me this long. <laughs> Dope. Cool. And then, wrong, 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 wrong. So I've got to unlock it with some rightness. Absolutely. And you can loop it as well. So if you want to practice like the first eight bars, oh. you don't have to keep rewinding it. It's just A, B loop. So it's cool. That's pretty. Can you that's get that without buying a keyboard? Uh, <laughs> no, you have to buy the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, but, but actually, to be honest, you don't have to buy the, the top of the range. Um, it comes, it, Casio Music Space would work with any Casio digital piano, any keyboard, if it's got a USB socket. So I think from memory, our, sort of, we start off with a CTS 200, a couple of hundred quid. Yeah. Uh, gives you that same functionality. That's cool. Mm. Nice one, mate. And uh, check out the other videos we've done. We've got loads on this keyboard, me getting out of a box to actually learning about it. So thank you very much. And uh, I normally try to escape from these videos by pressing a demo button, mm -hmm. but I need not because Chris is a great player. He's going to play for us. But also I wanted to remind you that we're hammering it in to people. If you, when we get to 100,000 subscribers, which may never happen, but we're hopeful here, if we do, uh, we will give away some synthesizers. Cool. So if you're a subscriber, you might win a synth. So thanks for watching. And thanks for being here, Chris. Appreciate it. Nice to be here. Thank you. Casio. <laughs>